I know a lot of you guys want to make money beyond just AdSense revenue, and today I want to talk with Chad and Melissa from Clean My Space about how they have built a bigger business model beyond AdSense around their YouTube channel. It's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators. This channel is all about helping you guys grow your YouTube audience. You can spread a message that reaches people and changes their life. And YouTube can also change your own life too, especially from a, a good business perspective. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your channel, what you guys do on YouTube. So we make YouTube videos all about cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. Recently, we put a book out in March, and uh, we also have a wonderful line of premium microfiber cleaning cloths. We also have a website. We're busy people in a cleaning <laughs> company. I almost <laughs> forgot to say that, and everything is pretty much called Clean My Space. So one of the things you guys hear me talking about a lot around here is like AdSense is great, you know, we love it, we take it. Um, but there's plenty of opportunity beyond AdSense mm. to monetize your audience. You guys, you, you mentioned microfibers, you guys mentioned the, your books, things like that. Let's start at the very beginning. How, what was the process you guys went through to kind of figure out like what does our audience want? And then we'll talk about how you integrate those things into your content. It actually happened pretty organically. Uh, we uh, have been making videos for about six years. And uh, one of the comments that we had always gotten because we always use microfiber cloths in the videos was where do you get your microfiber cloths from? It's something which is consistently in your videos and we would love to know and love to have the same uh, microfiber cloths that Melissa Maker uses. So uh, light bulb above the head yeah. and that kind of led to uh, us starting to talk about mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe uh, producing our own line of microfiber cloths or figuring out a way to kind of fill that need because uh, it was something which was uh, a, a pretty overwhelming uh, amount of comments that we were getting uh, uh, th uh, through our videos. Yeah, and I'll say two things. First of all, you know, people would ask us, where are you getting these cloths? Or what kind of cloths do you really like? And I was just sort of using what I could find. It wasn't necessarily that I thought they were amazing. It's just what was available. And that was, you know, business problem number one. And then number two was, it was like leaving money on the table every time where people kept saying, where are you getting this great thing from? And we weren't able to capitalize on that. And that's why we decided to start our own line. Yeah. It was real to those two reasons. So first thing you guys can do is listen to your audience. Like a lot of times they will just tell you what they want. And that guess exactly what happened here in video creators. You guys are like, Tim, you, like you're solving a problem mm -hmm. for your audience that they have. That's right. And you're giving them a solution that is essentially what you're selling them, selling them to your right. audience, right? So, so you heard from your audience, and you guys some like really easy ways to do this with, for your audience is simply to ask, um, like, hey, what problems you know are you guys trying to solve? Um, what issues? Or what are your frustrations that you're facing? Things that are related to the audience you're reaching and the, and the niche that you're making videos at, mm -hmm. and just like listen to the comments. Like people will just tell you. Uh, that's how I got started with doing consultations. Mm -hmm. That's how I started writing books. Uh, people are like Tim, how do we solve this problem? So same thing's true for me. So you heard from your audience. And you decided to go out and you, mm -hmm. then what was the next step in like developing that cloth or the products or whatever you could do next? Well, I want to also say that we weren't just excited about starting, you know, this cloth business for the sake of starting a cloth business and getting the cheapest cloths and just, you know, seeing if we'd make money. Like it was so important to us to find the best cloths. And in doing that, we sourced over 100 samples and we tested them, I, you know, I told you earlier, I have a cleaning company, I've had it for 11 years now. So I know a thing or two about cleaning and cloths and what's needed. And I combined that expertise with all of the different samples and we all sort of tested them on different surfaces It was a lot of cleaning, a lot of cleaning. It was a cleaning. lot of work, like it wasn't just like, oh, here's a great manufacturer, I'm just gonna sell these and slap our name on it. Yeah. So much thought, effort, dedication went into it and the audience, it's so, um, it's apparent to them when they actually get the cloths, you know, people time and again will give us the most incredible feedback about the cloths and they love them. And that's, you know, when, when we put that line out, we were so proud of it. And the thing that I really like about that, you know, it was like same thing I do here, is that um, then when you go to sell it, mm -hmm. you are like proud to sell yeah. it. That's you're, right. It's not like you're like, uh, guys, hey, if you want to give me some money, I got these cloths or I got this, <laughs> but you're like, you're like, this is gonna change your life. You yeah. should totally get it, and like, and you sell totally differently because you actually believe in what you're what you're selling. You know it has the potential to impact people, change their lives because you've seen it 
do it time and time again, maybe even in your own life. And we also made sure that we gave uh, samples of our cloths to family and friends and people who we knew were willing to be honest with us just because we wanted feedback and we wanted to know how the product was performing and if there were you know any tweaks or anything that we needed to fix. And the only feedback we got was, when can I get more? When can I get so, more? When can I get <laughs> we more? We knew we had something really good, but that that testing is really important to make sure that you know emphatically that you're putting out an amazing product and that people are, are going to love it. So you ask honest people who you trust and they'll give you feedback, but you gotta give them product for free. That's yeah. the only, that's, yeah, it does that's the only caveat. Product. They're not gonna pay you for it. <laughs> Before I launch uh, a video course, I usually send about 50 people through the course before I launch it to you guys. And I give it to them for free in exchange for them, giving me feedback, feedback and yep. here's the gaps in the content, or this part was confusing, or this quiz was whatever, you know, and just iron out all the kinks so that when you guys pay for something, like I feel good about the value exchange that we're making uh, together. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So after you've come up with your product, how do you guys then sell it? How do you integrate it and make it a part of your content and part of your videos and, in a natural way? That uh, that actually happened somewhat organically as well, uh, simply because we were doing videos that had cloths featured in them before. So as we a, do clean, you uh, know. Because we do do cleaning <laughs> videos. So instead of just any old random cloth, it became a rule. Well, we went through first and threw out every other cloth that we had in our house. <laughs> so there was, or we gave them away, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, we gave them away. Uh, so the people you didn't like. <laughs> all of our friends and family have way too many clean cloths they right all now. Have the, yeah, the makers. <laughs> um, and we replaced everything just with our cloths. Uh, and one of the other things that we uh, did was we made the cloth a very unique color, uh, purple, uh, which is the colors of clean my space. Uh, so therefore, uh, in a very subtle way, uh, whether or not you could see the label or the tag or anything like that, you would see the purple cloth. And we were trying to uh, make it where the purple cloth became something which was incorporated into every video yep. and it's pretty easy to actually incorporate a microfiber cloth into yeah. every video. I mean, you know, because we're cleaning, we have uh, four different types of cloths and they're used for different purposes around the home. So whenever we're cleaning a certain area, we'll use that particular cloth. I'll always flag, oh, and you know, when I'm cleaning the TV, I'm using this flat weave microfiber cloth. Um, we always make sure we get a nice product shot of our label, which is my last name, Maker, apostrophe yes, Makers. We always make sure that that's very apparent in the video. We put links uh, in the description box. Every now and then we'll call it out too. And we notice, I mean, whenever we show a cloth on Saturdays when we launch videos, boom, we get a spike in sales. When we mention the cloth, we get like a double Huge spike break. in sales. Mm -hmm. So it's that's kind of how we do it. And then the other thing that's been great is just the use of hashtags across different social media platforms. Um, one thing that we're trying to do is get reviews up on our on our website, which I think will be really helpful, but and testimonials um, just from other people. But you know, the feedback that we've been getting, people posting photos of their cloths on social media, and then their friends becoming interested. Facebook stuff. We, we recently had a sale mm -hmm. that did really well. That was our first sale, so it was really exciting. <laughs> but yeah, there have been a lot of different ways that we've been promoting the cloths. Um, the audience sees them, they like them. And I, I would say, guys, the other really important thing is just establishing trust with your audience and the reason why they know that they can count on our cloths being amazing is because they know how much research went into them. And to prove this point, we have not had one set returned. Wow. And we have no a 100% money back guarantee. So here's the principle, guys. Like this is what they're saying exactly how this, this process works. One, you need to know who's your target audience. You need to know why do they watch your videos, number two. What's the value that you provide to them? And then whatever that value is that they're trying to get from you, you sell that to them in a format they're willing to pay for that's like 10 times more the value than they're getting from their channel. So here on their channel, people are learning how do I clean. Yep. You know, that's the value that, that that's the value they get from your channel. And then you're like, here's a cleaning. It's like, so you didn't go make like Melissa make your t-shirts right. or like pens, <laughs> you know, or like magic markers or something like that, right? Um, same here on video creators. Like I don't go ahead and make like swag or stuff. Like you guys want to learn how to grow your YouTube audiences, and so I make training available. That's like the same type of things you're getting for free in like a video like this. But then you go through like my course. Like for example, um, I'll, I'll do it right now. I'll give you guys a perfect example of um, turn YouTube into your career. We're gonna teach you how to make money on YouTube and, and go through the product development, the sales funnels, and all that stuff, so you can turn YouTube into a full-time income for you and your family. So great, guys. I really want to hear from you guys in the comments below. About 
about how you integrate these things into your content and one, why do people watch your content? And if you have ideas, maybe for products that you think would integrate really well into your channel, it's a great way to monetize your audience. If an advertiser is willing to pay a small amount in order to be in front of your audience and then get much more back, like your audience has value, you might as well sell your things directly to them. So looking forward to hearing your comments down below. You can check out their channel, link down below as well, Clean My Space, and we'd love to have you guys subscribe because this channel is all about helping you guys grow your audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and impacts their lives and yours as well. So subscribe and I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another Video Creators video. See you then, bye.